Now let's talk about events and listener in Laravel. So let's see it with a demo. What is event and listener and how we can use it. So right now, if I go inside my student controller, I need to create a user also for each of my students. So whenever I create a new user, I also have to create a new user and assign the ID in here. For that, I have two options. One, either create the new user here by typing like user is equal to new user and pass all the user parameters here this with this we have one problem that it will make our controller very large and it will be very difficult for us in the future to refactor it or to bring changes in my controller so for that we will create an event and whenever that event is triggered we will create a listener for it so let's undo everything from here and let's open our terminal in the terminal we have to type php php artisan make event and give him a name for example a student register event the name is completely up to you so just I'm uh, naming it a student register event and enter. Now my event is created. If I go inside my app and in here I have my event in here. Then inside my event in here inside that construct method. I need uh, my student. So uh, I will type student and dollar sign student. Now let's create a variable also in the top so let's call it public dollar sign student and finally assign the public student to our student by typing dollar sign this student is equal to dollar sign student now our student event is set for now let's create a listener for this so to create a listener let's open our terminal again and in the terminal we have to type php artisan make listener then the listener name so in our case create a student user lesson listener and we will attach it with our student register event by typing dash dash event and student register event okay our event is also created now let's go and set our listener folder and in here we have our listener now in here we will create our new user for our student so inside the handle method in here we will type dollar sign user is equal to user colon colon create then we will set the name to the name of the student that we get. So let's uh, first of all, before this, let's create a student variable in here and get our student from the event by typing event is student. That's it. Now in here, let's say name is equal to dollars and student name. email is equal to person student email and password is equal to bcrypt okay bcryt and our default password and finally the user type in our case it's a student that's it and at the end we have to assign this new user id to our student so for that we will type person student user id is equal to user id and save our student so our listener is created and our event is also created now let's go inside our student controller in here uh, after the creating the new student we have to call our event 
So for that, in here we will type event new student register event and we will pass our student now whenever i create a new user it will create a new student it will create a new user as well so currently if i select we have 91 users so let's create a new student add let's fill it with a fake data select an image for this click submit okay let's uh, go back in here we don't need this now we, we have to comment this one also so let's go back let's click submit again now our student has been created here if we come and see at the end we have our student and if we check our users now we have 92 users inside our users table so it means a new user has been also created for our student and if I check the user type, it's a student. We can also put our listener in the queue. So for example, right now, if I go to inside my listener in here, I only create a user and update my student. Imagine if I send a welcome mail as well or do any other tests that takes too much time. It's much better to put them in the queue because those tasks will take a lot of time. So we want them to run in the background so we will for that we will just and before that after the class name we will type implement should q that's it now whenever a new student is created this task will be put in the queue and job so it will run in the background the user don't have to wait so let's go and create a new user in here so let's add a new user let's fill it with a fake data and let's select an image click submit now the student has been created but the user is not created so if i select my users i still have 91 users but if i click inside my job folder in here right now i have one job waiting to execute so for that now, if I open the terminal and type in here, let's clear everything. PHP artisan Q work. Now it will create a new user also for that student. So let's select our jobs. Right now, the job has been executed. And if I open my users table in here, right now I have 92 users. So this is the beauty of event and listener. Whenever an event occurs, the listener will execute and it will make our controller very short.